this is my take on Emily Gemma's everyday makeup and she's from the Brog the sweetest thing so we're gonna start out with keeper from the urban decay naked honey palette and we're gonna put that just in the crease using a big fluffy brush there's a lot of going back and forth and blending here but I like to start with this shade and then go in with a little bit smaller brush and the color drip kind of deeper into the crease. I like to do this with the eyes open too to make sure none of the shadow gets lost. Now you don't have to use these exact shades. They're just shown for reference. Any warm brown um, eyeshadows will do. So it's just important to kind of blend this, these shadows together and then take it under the eye too to make sure it's all cohesive. Now I'm taking a shimmer kind of metallic cream shadow and spreading it with this cute little steel spreader all of these products are gonna be on my blog, by the way. And then I'm topping it with this, it's just so gorgeous, my favorite topper, also from Urban Decay, um, called Space Cowboy. And it's just a really pretty way to kind of open up and brighten the eyes without adding a ton of glitter. Now, Emily has lash extensions, I do not, so I'm starting with a coat of primer and letting that dry while I do my eyeliner. And this is liquid eyeliner, she does a gorgeous wing. I'm not a huge fan of winged eyeliner, especially for every day, but this is kind of how I do it. I start by drawing the baseline first, then making sure the wings are even, and then filling it in, as you can see. And then I go back over it with a little bit of eyeshadow just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now, as you can see, I curl the lashes, and they really hold the curl and add length and bulk um, from the primer, but make sure you get it off of your eyelash curler so it doesn't gunk up your lashes. Next, I take my mascara and really press it into the roots and wiggle up. And then I've primed my skin with a whole bunch of moisturizer. And I'm using a corrector under the eye to cancel out any blue dark circles. Now I'm taking one pump of foundation. I ended up only using what you see on this brush here. That is it. Um, because this is a really spreadable foundation. And using a flat top kabuki brush, brush to sort of press it into the skin. Um, stippling it and then I go back in with the Beauty Blender to make sure everything looks nice and even. Now this is an awesome contour product and you can see where I'm putting it on my face. Where you put it on your face depends but this is some yummy contouring that I just go back in with that foundation brush and blend out. It's also kind of a bit of a bronzer um, but I really like to do this because you can change the shape of the face and lift it and it's just really important too to make sure it all blends in. Now I'm going in with the concealer just where I want to lighten and brighten and add a little bit more coverage. And then I'm setting with some loose powder. I'm not really a loose powder person, but I wanted to stay true to Emily and she uses a lot of powder. She loves it, so yeah. And now I'm adding a little bit of powder bronzer just where the sun would naturally hit and filling in the brow, you've seen that, and setting it with some gel, whatever. Adding some lightness to the inner corner of the eyes with a brighter concealer, and then some blush. I like to do this sort of after um, to make everything pop. And then I go in with some amazing highlighter. This is like an icy white highlighter, but it's not obnoxious. Now it's just the lips. So lining, and then lipstick, and then lip gloss for a nice juicy nude lip, and then you have to set everything. You don't want this stuff moving. So we spray and then an Emily favorite, the Diva Fan, to make sure everything's nice and dry. This is uh, the look. And check out the blog for all of the products. And check out Emily. Have a good day.